Why do people put milk in vegetable crackers? Why? Should we try the breadsticks? Okay. Two for one dollar. Who knew dollar store was bougie? And welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. So today's video is going to be a dollar store haul of all kinds of vegan stuff that I found at the dollar store. I live in Canada, so our kind of national dollar store is called Dollarama. So I went to Dollarama and I looked for whatever I could find that was vegan. I didn't buy every little thing that was vegan, but I bought, <laughs> I mean, I pretty much bought everything that was vegan. As you can see here, there's a lot going on here. So yeah, come with me to the dollar store. Let's go. Just letting you guys know that I made another video after this where I made 10 different vegan meals and snacks out of what I got at the dollar store and only at the dollar store. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up. Flashback. We're at Dollarama. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Woohoo! Sanitize, very important. Go. Here we have the food. Let's see what they have. Saltine crackers? Kind of huge. Oh my god. 175 for this giant thing of crackers. Campbell's tomato soup. Yes. Vegan. Campbell's vegetable soup. Beef broth. No. Tomato soup. This one's vegan. Yay. Ooh, they have this. Two for 125. So cheap. Let me check. Yeah. This one's cheaper. Two for 125. That's so cheap. <laughs> I'm so happy. Let's see what else they have. Ooh, look. Oh, they have green lentils. Oh my gosh, green lentils. Ooh, and last time I think I got these. They're pretty good. Oh actually. yeah, I like. Okay, we're gonna get these green lentils. And we also have stuffed vine leaves. Ooh, and asparagus in a can. Yes. <laughs> Are we scared of the asparagus in the can? Yes. Okay, we're scared of the asparagus in the can. Ooh, sun-dried tomatoes. Who doesn't love sun-dried tomatoes? Probably lots of people, but I like sun-dried tomatoes. But the thing is, here's the thing, okay? A lot of times, Dollarama or dollar stores might seem cheaper, but sometimes you can get really cheap things at regular grocery stores that might actually be cheaper, but dollar stores, you just get smaller quantities of it, so it seems that it's cheaper, but if you buy in bulk, it might be cheaper to not shop at the dollar store, okay? That's one thing to note, sun-dried tomatoes. I think that's pretty cheap, $2. Baby corn. We love baby corn. I mean, I like baby corn. Do you like baby corn? Baby I corn. Love baby corn. Baby corn. We're gonna get that. Here's an example of something that's probably gonna be the same price at like a regular grocery store. This is a dollar, which is still cheap, but like you can probably get this for a dollar at any other grocery store. Do I need corn? No. What am I, what am I making? I don't know, I'll just get it. <laughs> no, milk powder on my Why do people put milk in vegetable crackers? Why? I'm so mad. Breadsticks. This is good. Breadsticks. Should we try the breadsticks? Okay. Oh. Rice cake. 125. Should I get one? Okay. I have a lot of crackers. <laughs> Apparently they have a lot of crackers. Okay. It's good too. Okay, no more. <laughs> <laughs> no more. Ooh, tomato paste. Two for one dollar. Yeah. Two for one dollar. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. What's in the pasta sauce? Do we trust pasta sauce in a can? <laughs> no. So you can get a pasta sauce in a can. I don't know if I trust it. You can make your own pasta sauce too, okay, with tomato paste. So I'm gonna do that probably. They even have rice, some random stuff. They have vegetable soup mix. That's exciting. Dried vegetables. I feel like this has potential. Vegetable soup mix. You could add different things to it. Let's see what we can do with it. You guys, there's also chia seeds. Who knew dollar store was bougie? There's chia seeds at the dollar store, only 175. It's a pretty good amount. Chia seeds. I've never used Uncle Ben's. Uh, what's the like? What's the difference? So this is just rice. So this one, guys, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is going against my Asian heritage. But Ben's original express rice. Okay. You can also get regular rice at a dollar store. Very cheap. This one is like two dollars for. This. Now, I never eat jasmine rice, so I'm not gonna get it, but that's an option, okay? But this one looks like it's vegan friendly, okay? This one is vegan, so I just checked the ingredients list. I think we could do some stuff with this, so just by adding little things. I wouldn't eat this just as is, but we gotta add stuff. Yay! Rice in a can. What? Wait, is this real? <laughs> no, there's milk ingredients. Why did they put. Why? Someone tell me why they put milk ingredients for Chinese style rice. Tell me. 
Oh, couscous. $2.50. I think I can get it. Couscous. $2.50. Is it cheaper than other stores? I'm not sure. But we'll get we'll get it. If you also want some mustard, that's available. We also have ketchup. We also have relish. These things, again, I'm not sure if it's cheaper here or if it's cheaper in regular stores or the same. Red wine vinegar, $2. Let's get this. Extra virgin olive oil, $2. Very cheap. Good. Great. Okay, so I've had this before. It's pretty good. Crispy fried onions. You can put it on top of like different things. So I'll get it. I don't know what I'm going to put it on top of, but <laughs> we'll get it. We're going to get some spasis. Let's get some thyme. Basil. Uh-huh. It's a dola. Just a dola. Also gonna get some black pepper, ground black pepper. Mm -hmm. And of course, garlic powder. Very necessary for everything. So garlic powder, yay. And of course you can get salt here too, very cheap. I have a lot of salt at home, so we won't do that. Ooh, apple pie filling. That's, that was French. Apple pie filling. What can I do with this? Put it into apple pie. <laughs> but should I buy flour? Do they sell flour here? No, I kind of want to get it. I'll get one of these. And they have coconut milk. Oh my God, the coconut milk is actually really cheap. Coconut milk is very cheap. We're gonna get, is it even real coconut milk? <laughs> Two for one twenty-five. I mean, you can't beat that. So one of the vegan hacks is to get some vegan friendly cake mix. Most cake mixes are actually vegan friendly because they don't have any animal products, but they tell you to add in like eggs and stuff. But instead what you can do is, you know what? I'll show you guys what you can do. You guys, we can make a pie. We found ourselves. Can we make a pie? Don't we need like a cover for the pie? How do pies work? No, we can still make a pie somehow. We're making a pie. Yay. We're gonna make some pie, maybe, probably. I also found golden sugar, only a dollar for this package of sugar. I'm also gonna get some peach slices. They have a bunch of different fruit in cans. Mm -hmm. We love those. Peach slices. Ooh, maybe we'll also get this. Mandarin slices in cans. Very exciting. And then we have the cake mix. Yay. This is also something you could get instant oatmeal maple brown sugar mm -hmm. i normally don't have instant oatmeal but it's an option Can get oreos. They have oreos. still vegan contains milk we got cashews. Oh, chestnuts. Are you kidding? Chestnuts, chestnuts, chestnuts. They have roasted cashews. You know what? I'm gonna get two packs of chestnuts. Uh huh. Maybe walnuts. I can use them for something. Yeah, I'll get walnuts. Walnuts. Yay. Are these good? Sesame sweet snack. They even have freeze dried strawberries. Oh my gosh. They also have dried mango. Oh. Dried mango. Date two. Two fifty. Oh, okay, no more dried fruit. Ooh, these are pretty yummy. Harvest snaps. Vegan. Ooh, veggie chips. I haven't tried these. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty substantial pack. Looks like it's vegan. Yay. Well, ooh, is this vegan? Oh, it's vegan. Do you remember these? <gasps> you guys remember these? This is like my childhood stack. I would put one in each finger. Delicious. Wanna get one of these? Contains milk, of course. Oh my god. Well, these are like from my childhood. Do you guys remember fruit roll ups? Yeah. I think this is vegan. Do you remember these? These are not good, but they're good. <laughs> Apparently, this is gelatin free. Very exciting. I'm gonna get one because I'm an adult and I can do whatever I want. Oh my god, they have aloe vera. <gasps> so I used to drink this all the time in Korea. They're actually really good. I'm gonna get one. I did not expect to find this at the dollar store. They also have coconut water. How much are these? 125, that's cheap. 100% coconut water. Yay. Let's focus on these. <gasps> you guys look at this. Look at what I found. Quinoa puffs, vegan white cheddar. <gasps> what? Vegan white cheddar. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? At the dollar store? Yes, we're getting this. We're gonna get some Pepsi. Okay. They have plantain chips. We're gonna get some. <laughs> Of course, we gotta get some instant noodles. It's four for one dollar. What? Four for one dollar. <laughs> yes. End 
a flashback. All right, friends. So I'm just gonna like go through everything I picked out. Obviously, you guys saw what happened at the store. Okay, where do I even start? There's so many little things here. So <laughs> let's start here. First, I got some instant oatmeal. I wanted to get just regular oatmeal, but they didn't seem to have it. They had the instant oatmeal packs, the ones that come in like the little packets. Like you guys know what I'm talking about, right? These things. Yes, these are actually really convenient if you want like a really quick breakfast, but they're definitely not enough. I would eat probably at least two of these and add some stuff to it. Instant oatmeal. Yay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One thing I was really sad about was I couldn't find peanut butter. Usually you can find peanut butter at the dollar store, but it was not there for some reason and I was very, very sad. Okay, it was a very sad moment for me. I'll get over it at some point. Okay. Next, we got a bunch of random little things. We got some dried mangoes. Oh my God, dried mangoes, so delicious. And then we also have some chia seeds. Guys, who knew dollar store was bougie and had chia, chia, uh, chia, chia seeds, okay? I, I was pretty impressed. Chia seeds. We also have some chestnuts. Oh my god, I need to try these. I always buy these at the Korean supermarket, but I found these and I was like, oh my god. <gasps> oh, they're actually like legit. Okay, they're legit like whole peeled chestnuts. Mm, they're pretty good. Okay, I don't know if they're as good as the ones I get in the Korean supermarket, but they're pretty close and it's like, I think it's a little bit cheaper. Mm, I love chestnuts. Okay, some dates. Yes, I can find dates at the dollar store. Mm hmm. Lovely. I don't know what kind of dates, but they're dates. We also have some freeze dried strawberries. I feel like this is gonna be really good. You can add it to like little breakfast bowls. You can add it to your oatmeal. Oh my god. Mm hmm. Delicious. And then I got more chestnuts because I was like, oh my god, they have chestnuts at the dollar store. I gotta get some more. Next, we have a very random thing that I, again, did not expect to find at the dollar store. This is an aloe vera drink. In Korea, this is very popular and I used to drink these a lot, okay? They're really delicious, okay? They're like sweet and delicious and they have little, little flakies in them. I don't know. They're just tasty. It's a tasty drink. You guys remember these? Oh my god. I don't know how to say this name. Bugles? I don't know. I ate these a lot, like this type of corn thingies. Corn, what, corn cups? What, are the, what do you call these? Cones? Cones! <laughs> corn cones. And then I got these pie crusts. Guys, did you know you can find pie crusts at the dollar store? I decided to get some Uncle Ben's. Okay, this is kind of going against my Asian heritage, but you know what? It's an instant rice thing. I feel like it could be helpful to a lot of people. This one in particular was vegan friendly. And I feel like if you just add a few things in here, it could be really good. By the way, I'm gonna do like a dollar store meals video after this. So definitely check that out when it's out. I don't know when it's gonna come out. Either before or after this video, probably after this video. Anyway, and then we also have uh, some walnuts. Yes, walnuts, uh-huh. Walnuts, they have walnuts. Golden sugar. If you need any kind of sugar, you can find it at the dollar store, apparently. Okay. And then we also have some couscous. I got this giant thing of couscous. It's pretty heavy. This is like one kilo of couscous. Here's the thing. Dollar store is not going to be always cheaper. It's cheaper because usually they sell things in maybe smaller quantities or something. There are some things that are legitimately cheaper, but yeah, just be be aware that it's not always gonna be cheaper than a regular store. There's things in a regular store that's only a dollar as well, just to keep in mind. And also you can buy things in bigger bulk, which saves you money in the long run. That's something to note. For those of you that are trying to save money, something to know. We have breadsticks, sesame breadsticks. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I think this is like a nice little snack. Dip it in hummus, I don't know. The saltine crackers, a giant box. Yeah, crackers, crackers. I had to get Oreos. They had Oreos. I had to get Oreos. Oreos are vegan, if you guys didn't know. And these are like the mini ones. I don't know if they're in like, oh, they're in like little like single serving bags. Not the best for the environment, but kind of good for portion control, I guess. Oreos, yay. Betty Crocker, my lady. Mm -hmm. Cake mix, okay. A lot of cake mixes are vegan, but they do say to add like eggs and milk and stuff. But one of the vegan hats, you just simply add in a can of pop, a can of soda. I haven't tried this with like diet soda, but I feel like it would do the same thing. But we have canned Pepsi or Coke, mix it in, bake it, trust me. I haven't done that in years, so I'm kind of excited to try it again. I was so excited to find this. Quinoa puffs, vegan white cheddar. <gasps> Who knew I would find this at the dollar store? So exciting. Should I try it on camera? We're gonna have to try it. Woo, smells cheddary. Looks puffy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's very cheesy. I'm not used to the cheesiness. Mm. Pretty good. It's a pretty good snack. It's very like, 
what's that? It's like, you know, that, that cheesiness. It's just cheesiness. I kind of like it. It grows on you. Okay. Mm. Harvest crisps. Uh, 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 harvest snacks. Mm -hmm. Green pea snacks. They're basically like chips, but like green peas. I think they're a little healthier than like maybe regular chips. I'm not sure. Dip it in hummus. Delicious. I'm really excited about this. Veggie chips. Uh-huh. So basically just veggies that they like slice up and make it into chips and it's only a dollar. I know. What is a dollar nowadays? Nothing is a dollar. Fruit roll-ups. You guys remember these? This is also from my childhood. It was hard to find like a candy that didn't have gelatin in the dollar store, but this one was gelatin free. Fantastic. You guys, next I found instant noodles. Yes. One is 25 cents. What? You get four for a dollar. Four for a dollar. I mean, you can't go wrong, okay? Four for a dollar? Come on. Just add a few little things in there and then you can make like a probably somewhat legit meal out of that, okay? And then we found this vegetable soup mix. Again, I feel like you can add a few things and then you can make it into like a legit meal. I found some plantain chips. Plantain chips are really good. Have you guys tried them? Next, we're gonna get into a little bit more of the canned goods stuffed vine leaves i bought this before at the dollar store they're pretty like they're pretty good i remember eating these a lot in greece they're not as good as the stuff i ate in greece but you know what this is pretty good two little cans of tomato paste two for one dollar uh-huh tomato paste pasta sauce yay i got two cans of coconut milk again this was like very cheap for coconut milk again it's probably not the best quality but if you need some coconut milk even Dollar Store has coconut milk. Two cans of tomato soup. Yes, tomato soup at the Dollar Store. Very, very cheap. Heinz tomato soup. Exciting. I also got some canned fruit. We've got um, peach slices, and then we also have mandarin oranges. This with the oatmeal, fantastic. Breakfast, done. Simple. We also have some canned corn. Canned corn, only a dollar. Canned baby corn. I love baby corn, okay? What is it about baby corn? I don't get it. I love it though. Oh, I was so happy to find this. Lentils. We got some lentils, okay? Lentils. Oh my God. I was so happy to find lentils at the dollar store because I don't think they had much of uh, plant-based protein sources, but lentils are a great plant-based protein source and you can find it at the dollar store. Oh, I was excited for this one. Apple pie filling. <laughs> mm-hmm. Apple pie. Apple pie filling. This was vegan. Mm-hmm. We got some spices. We have some thyme. Mm-hmm. Okay, some black pepper, a good amount of black pepper. I also was thinking, you know what? If you're looking for just like a small amount of a spice, you know what? Might as well go to the dollar store and get it for like a dollar because I feel like this was a dollar, but it's not like a big bag. But you know what? Sometimes we don't need a big bag. I mean, it's big enough, but we don't, we don't need a huge bag, you know? We got, we got, we got, we got some garlic powder. Uh-huh. Basil. Fantastic. Find your spices at the dollar store. Lovely. And then I got this thing here, which I've tried before. Crispy fried onions. These are actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Put it on top of stuff. These last forever, by the way. <laughs> I just found one in my fridge from like, I swear I bought it like two, three years ago, if not longer. Tastes fine. So this lasts like years. <laughs> Don't think that's a good thing, but hey, crispy fried onions. Put this on top of whatever that you want to. Maybe like hot dogs or something. Mashed potatoes, salads, curry, vegetables. Sesame crisps. Um, it's like basically sugar, sesame crackers. I don't know how to describe it. You guys have had these. Ooh. Ah, yes. That's definitely a familiar taste. Mmm, it's good. Sweet, but also like savory from that sesame. Delicious. Only a dollar for like a bunch of these. So good. Next, sun-dried tomatoes. Mm-hmm, a little jar of sun-dried tomatoes. Delicious. Next, we also found some extra virgin olive oil. Mm-hmm. I think this was only like $2. Red wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. I was very excited about this as well. Red wine vinegar. Brown rice cakes. Yes, you can find these at the dollar store. I mean, you guys know rice cakes, okay? These are like the dry rice cakes and you can put like peanut butter and stuff on top. And then last but not least, I also found coconut water. Uh-huh, this is like 100% pure, like 100% natural coconut water. If you like coconut water, go to the dollar store. It's cheap. Okay. All right, you guys, so that was my dollar store haul. Everything came to about 79 Canadian dollars. I mean, I got a lot of stuff, okay? I got a lot of stuff. I'm a little bit sad because I couldn't find peanut butter and I also realized I couldn't find pasta and I feel like dollar store usually has pasta, so 
keep on the lookout for that. But I still got a lot of little things, lots of little snacks, and some things that I would usually think are more expensive. Hopefully you found this helpful. I'm gonna do another video where I try to make food, like meals out of these items that I got. So stay tuned for that, make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, of course, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a little comment down below. Let me know what you thought. What else did you find at the dollar store? Let me know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.